Hey guys, it is me, Happy Circa, and welcome back to Raft, the game where you have to survive while being stranded on the ocean. But our life on the ocean today is gonna get much, much better because we have unlocked the engine and the steering wheel blueprint, and these items are pretty easy to craft, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. From what I know, you can put two engines for your raft to go a bit faster, so maybe I'll put one engine over here and one engine over there, and then the steering wheel, for now at least, will go on the first floor, but after we continue building our raft, maybe the steering wheel will go somewhere here. I have no idea. Now, let's collect all of these items here. We've got a bunch of a bunch of resources and we still have the steering wheel blueprint and the engine blueprint. We could probably get rid of those things as we don't need them. I'm pretty scared to throw them away, but I'm pretty certain we don't need them. Say, so, hey, <laughs> let's get rid of the blueprints. Hopefully I did not need those things because we've already researched that stuff. All right, so it's time for us to start working on an engine. Let's search for an electronic circuit. I don't really know how many electronic circuits we have, but I do know that we need copper. Say, so, let's add some planks. Let's smell that copper. All right, so I think we've smelted enough copper, but also so it's time for us to go and cook some meat because we have killed a bunch of rats on a cruise ship. So hey, why not cook that meat? And now let's get one copper ingot. And I think it's time for us to craft this circuit board. Say, so, hey, let's craft the circuit board. And for the engine, we need five metal ingots. If I'm not mistaken, I have four metal ingots, but I don't know if I have five. Yes, indeed, we have four metal ingots here and I don't have any more metal ore. So apparently we'll need to go to another island to get some resources there. And in front of us, we see another island. So hey, let's not waste any time. Let's maybe try to get this crate. It's been a long time since I've used this hook. <laughs> Say, let's get this crate. Inside of this crate, we've gotten some rocks, some palm trees, and whatever. So where was that island? All right, the island's over there. So let's try to sail that way. And we definitely need more storage. So let's craft here one more chest. I do have hinges somewhere here. Let's go. Let's craft that chest. At least for now, we'll probably place this chest over here. Then we're going to sort out the base. It will look a bit better. Or who knows? Maybe I'm lying. Maybe our base will never look better. All right, so this island looks kind of weird. But it doesn't matter how this island looks like. We have to get metal. And hopefully here, we're going to get it. I already see a couple of metal things. I see some metal ores. All right, let's drop the anchor. I'm already gonna prepare here a timer, a stopwatch. So let's go under the water and let's try to fight Bruce. Because for those who didn't know, that's how the shark is called. So hopefully it's not gonna attack me too much. There's only one shark here. So I shouldn't be too scared about it. Oops. I have no idea if the guy missed it. Probably he missed me. Let's go. Let's breathe a little bit. I don't see any other fish here. There we go. The guy's... There we go. I got him. I got him. I got him. Let's start the timer. That's it. We have three minutes. We got three minutes, ladies and gents. Let's pick up everything. We got the shark meat. And I see the things. I'll start from copper. We got to take everything anyways. The more copper, the better. Let's take these three things. Let's go to the very top. Would be nice to craft some sort of a bottle thing to breathe more because it is possible to craft that. But I have never crafted it. We need maybe more vine go. So he will do it. We'll get it one day. Let's get some more metal ores. Also, I'd like to get to a bit bigger island because on that bigger island, we can trade with those trash cubes. I can give trash cubes to get some resources back in return. And I've never done that in the past. And now we have the junk making machine. I have some trash cubes. So I'd like to check that stuff out. All right, let's take some more scrap metals. It's been 45 seconds. Where is metal? We have scrap metal, but where is metal? Those three pieces of metal that I have is definitely not going to be enough. All right, we see more copper. I can see more copper here as well. All right, let's take that giant clam. I can take these things because I think we can craft dry bricks and then we can put those dry bricks in the recycler. All right, we have to take a breath. We desperately need that breathing machine. We need more oxygen. It's been one minute and 15 seconds. All right, that's metal. There we go. Three more metal pieces. Just what the doctor ordered. Let's get it. I don't know what kind of doctor would order you three metal pieces, but let's... Whatever. Don't question that. It's a good doctor. Special doctor. All right, I'll get the sand pieces and time for us to skedaddle because we have almost no air left. Almost no oxygen, baby. Let's go. <sighs> let's go. Let's suck in that oxygen. And let's go around this island. We can get more copper. I might get it. We need those batteries. Let's get some vine goo. I mean, for now it's seaweed, but then we're going to transfer it into vine goo. All right, anything else around the island? There's got to be more things, definitely. I refuse to believe that that's it. It's been two minutes and ten seconds. There we go. More metal, ladies and gents. We have gotten a decent amount of metal. I have no idea how much metal you can get on an island. Is it random or you always get the same amount of metal? But we have gotten a decent amount of metal. I also know that we should probably craft two engines. You know what? I'll be happy with one for now, but... Two engines would be better. It's been two minutes and 30 seconds and I see more metal. I think this was a pretty decent island. We've gotten a decent amount of resources here. It's been two minutes and 40 seconds. All right. <laughs> My character almost drowned. The copper that said it's been two minutes, 45 seconds. Quick, 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 quick. I've seen some more scrap metals and that's it. I'll probably get these things. 
And we are skedaddling from this place. That's it. Two minutes, 50 seconds. I'll get some more scrap metal. That's it. We gotta go back to the top because I'll start drowning and the shark's gotta be somewhere here. I know you have respawned. There we go. There's the guy. There's the dude. The guy's gonna attack me very soon. I'll go get the last metal piece. And time for us to get back on the boat. That's it, ladies and gents. Oh, one more thing. Let's get it. And let's get on the boat. So we have gotten 12 metal ore pieces. This is amazing. So let's start smelting that metal right away. I do know that in one of these chests, we should have some wood. I don't even know where I placed it, but we should have the wood. There we go. I have eight planks here and four planks here. I should have more wood, no? In any case, we have some more shark meat. That's a pretty nice way to eat. <laughs> so let's get the cooked meat. Let's cook more shark meat. And while we have an axe and we are really close to this island, I might as well go and get the wood. Why not? So I think it's time for us to leave it. Let's go. Let's unanchor the boat. And I am going to refer to it as the boat because you know that it's a boat. And I'm also happy that we have both of those smelters and not only one. Otherwise, it would take us a long, long time to smelt all the iron ore. All right, let's put the sail there. I'm gonna get the paddle just to help the boat leave this place. And from the research that I've done, the more engines you put on the boat, the faster the boat will go. For 100 foundations, you need at least one engine. All I know is that three engines will probably power this raft to the max speed. So what I know that one day we are gonna get three engines, but at least for now, I'd love to get one engine and I'll be happy with it. All right, that's it. We are gonna leave this island. Now let's get some more palm trees from the base. Let's melt some more metal. And I think we are ready to craft our first engine. I'm pretty certain we can do it. I have already how many metal pieces? We already have six metal pieces. That is something. Let's get the rope. We have everything. We have everything ready. Let's get that engine. So this is how the engine is gonna look like. Probably I can rotate it. Correct. That's how it would look like. But again, before we place the engine, I think I should upgrade these raft pieces first. I don't really know where I'll place it. Maybe somewhere in the middle, maybe somewhere in front. I don't know where you have to place that. I'll place it here. I think that's what we'll do. All right, first of all, let's deal with the shark. Let's go. Let's attack Bruce. Let's repair this thing. And I think it's time to fortify these two pieces because it'll be very, very worth it as the shark won't be able to destroy the boat. I don't know where should I place it, but I'll probably place it here on the back. That'll be the best. But before we do this, let's place the sail in the right direction. All right, it's looking there. All right, so let's search for nails as I do have some nails in some of these chests, definitely. Well, then we need to craft a couple of nails. Say, hey, let's get a couple of nails with us. And it is kind of getting late, but we have so many things to do. Let's fill up the water purifier. There we go. The water purifier is done. I think we can go and start fortifying the raft. I'm going to fortify these two pieces. There we go. So the shark won't be able to bite through that. And it's time for us to place that engine. There we go. Not really certain if that's the best idea. How else can I rotate it? There we go. I'm placing it here. No, we needed to fortify three pieces, not two pieces. Let's go. Let's fortify three pieces. And it's night now. Well, we have to sleep. We're going to place that engine in the morning. Let's go. Let's get some more metal ores. And let's place that engine there. Boom. There we go, ladies and gents. We've placed the engine. So this thing should spin. And I'd love to craft another engine here on another side. That'll look perfect. And then we might place a third engine somewhere here in the middle. I'll move this anchor somewhere further down the boat. But all right, we have to go that way. Activate the engine. All right, so we can activate it. It also says here that a one engine per hundred foundations. Understandable. And we have to add planks because this is how this thing works. And later on, uh, again, some spoilers. In the Balboa Island, we should be able to get some sort of a bioreactor or biofuel maker or whatever. And then we'll be able to get better fuel. But for now, we are just going to use the planks. There we go. Let's add a few planks. How many planks we have left? All right, let's add a few planks. All right, that should be enough. And let's try to activate the engine. There we go. It started. The boat is working! The boat is working. Are we going faster with it? I have no idea. I mean, let's just check it. I guess we're going faster. What if I get rid of the sail? Do we go slower with the sail or do we need the sail? That's all I know. Our creation works. Then we can get a, a wheel, but I will get that wheel a bit later. I think I'm going to turn off the engine because it does require lots of wood. All right, so our next thing that we need to craft is another simple battery. So let's craft that simple battery. Let's plop that battery somewhere over here. Let's turn on the radio and we need to type in a bit different coordinates. So let's go over here. We got to go to the Balboa Island. 5633. Say, so let's change the coordinates. Uh, 5633. Three. There we go. We got to go all the way there. We are going to go there, buddy. First of all, I'm dying. I absolutely have no more water. Say, so let's drink a little bit of water. And I am pretty positive that we need a steering wheel. So let's try to get that steering wheel. 
I do have one more metal ingot. And wait, 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 wait. Before we do anything else, let's try to turn this thing off because it does eat through our battery. So we'll have to go that way. For now, we're going to place that steering wheel over here. I'll probably place the radio receiver here and the steering wheel will go here. Then we'll figure it out. All right, we can craft the steering wheel. What's awesome is that we can open up a chest and you don't have to drag those items into your inventory. The game is just going to think that you have those items and it's going to take those items from the chest. But you have to open a particular chest. But hey, that's awesome. Let's craft a steering wheel. I don't know where I'll put it. But hey, that's going to be the front of the boat. Right, that's the middle of the boat. There we go, I think. It's gonna be all right for now. Rotate smoothly. Is it connected? Is it connected to the engine? I have no idea. How do you even connect your steering wheel? Maybe it doesn't need to be connected. Well, I'm gonna activate the engine. Let's also take this. Oh no, it'll have to be on the higher floor. Whatever. We gotta go. I'm gonna get rid of this thing. We gotta go that way. Say, so, let's try to turn the boat. I'm gonna try to turn the boat, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's turn the boat there. <gasps> The boat's changing direction! It works! It works, ladies and gents! It works! The thing definitely works! We are going! It's even scary! I don't know why, it is kind of scary. We should move the steering wheel probably to the top for now. I'll need to move this thing the that way. You know what? Whatever, let's place that there and let's place the wheel. There we go. So now we can turn this thing on. Oh no, it's too close to the antenna. There we go, it works! Everything works! So we gotta go left. Let's go that way. There we go. Look at this. The boat is turning. The boat is turning. This is awesome. I'm loving this game. This game is awesome. Alright. We have to go that way, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. There we go. Let's go a little bit that way. That's it. We can turn off the radio and we are going. We are definitely going there. <laughs> this is awesome. I've never had this engine in the game. I'd love to craft maybe a second engine, but again, the second engine will require more planks. All right, let's get the shark meat and perhaps I have some more things to cook. I still have some more metal to cook, so let's cook all of that metal. We are going to have enough metal for the second uh, engine. Maybe I should do that. I don't know. Also, where the wind is blowing? The wind is blowing that direction and we are going that direction as well, so we kind of don't even need this thing. What's also weird is that I've read that you need to have an engine to get to Bulboa Island. Otherwise, you won't be able to go against the wind. But the wind is literally blowing us towards the Bulboa Island. So I don't get it if we really needed this thing. You know what? I'm gonna assume that we needed it. Oh, there's one more thing that we need to do. Check this out, guys. I've just figured it out. There's explosive powder, right? And we've gotten some of that explosive powder from some sort of a fish. I think we can smelt it and we will get explosive powder, and then I can research it. After we research it, we'll be able to get some sort of nets, and with those nets, we'll be able to catch goats. We'll be able to put those goats on our boat. All right, we've gotten the copper ingot. Let's get it. Let's smelt another copper ingot, and let's try to get that explosive powder, and I think now we can go and research it. So let's try to research the explosive powder, and we can craft the net canister. And check this out. When we go to tools, we have this net launcher, and then we have the net canister. And with those things, we should be able to catch those goats. And then they should be able to give us wool. We can also craft backpacks with that wool, and then we can transform that wool into those junk cubes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick this thing up. Let's go. Let's pick up this advanced purifier. And I'd love to place that advanced purifier somewhere over here-ish. I don't think it's going to disappear. It's going to be much easier to fill this thing up rather than running. There we go. All I can do is just like this. Look at this. I should have done it since the beginning because every time I needed to fill it up, I'd take the salty water, I'd run there in the middle of the boat, and that was just stupid. And also, I need to pick up loot from these collection nets a little bit more frequently. Wait, is that where we have to go? Is that Balboa Island? No, that's not Balboa Island. Wait, what? We've been here. Four, four, five. Oh no, we're going the wrong direction! Mistakes were made! Stop the engine! No, no, don't change the direction. No, 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 just turn off the engine. Guys, I messed it all up. And the stupid shark, it's your fault. Stupid dude. So check this out. As soon as I pick this thing up, the coordinates messed up. We are not going towards the Balboa Island. It's 5633. Three. So let's go to 5633, three, then 33. Three. There we go. That's where we were supposed to go. All the way there. Now I know that we are going the opposite direction. Okay. So let's try to turn on the boat. Well, mistakes were made, ladies and gents. Whatever. Let's add some planks. Let's activate the engine. Let's try to turn around. Wait, we're gonna take that copper a little bit later. I just need to turn around my boat. Captain's gotta do the work. 
Let's go. Let's turn around. Turn around the boat. We are turning around somehow, some way. We are doing it. Will that thing appear in front of us? There we go, guys. Check this out. That island is moving. We could have been already there. All right. Now we are going there. Check this out. Little by little. Two kilometers. <laughs> let's go. And now let's craft one more storage because we are seriously running low on space. Ladies and gents, I think we are getting closer to that Balboa Island because the game kind of froze for a second. I thought it crashed, but apparently it didn't. Check it out. We are... No, 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 not the battery. I'm, I messed it all up, ladies and gents. Give me the battery. Give me the battery. Let's try to add it here. And check this out. We are 600 meters away from it, but check it out. Look in front of us in the down... In the top right corner. The thing is massive. That island is massive. I'm even scared. I'm not gonna lie. I've also started sorting out these chests, so here we're gonna keep palm leaves and rope. Here we're gonna leave all the metal pieces. There I'm gonna keep all the food. There I keep the plastic stones and other garbage. I'm actually scared, I'm not gonna lie. That massive island is scaring me. Just look at that. How far are we away from it? Look at that, dude, I've never been here. Now, all of that is absolutely new to me. 400 meters away. We're, we are still so far away from it, and yet we are so close. <laughs> that is crazy, and I'm scared. That's all I have to say. I don't know. Why would this island scare you? It does scare me. And check this out. There's some sort of a bridge. I'm pretty certain there'll be a bunch of puzzles that we need to solve. All right, let's turn there. Maybe I had to go between those islands. Maybe that's where I had to go. I don't know. All right, so I still don't see a beach where we could enter the island. All right, so there's something different. Now, we haven't been on this side of the island. Check this out. Maybe there's some sort of a beach. All right, let's try to turn the boat. There we go. Maybe somewhere here there will be an entrance. I don't even know if I'm ready to go there. I just have a metal spear. Well, I have a few metal spears. That's great. We have enough resources. We should have enough food. All right, I think I see the entrance. Ladies and gents, wait, let me get to the top. Look at that in the top right corner. You can see that there is something. I can see the land. Finally, the hills are over. So that's it. That's where we had to enter this island from. That is lovely. Oh, that's it. It stopped working. Wait, did we run out of fuel? Yes, we ran out of fuel, so let's add some planks. Cannot wait to get that bioreactor. This bioreactor is going to be awesome. And again, I might know some things. I know that in this island, we are going to get that probably bioreactor blueprint or whatever that's called. But that's all I know about it. I have no idea what to expect on this island. So if I miss something or I do something wrong, please don't yell at me. <laughs> I'm just a noob. That All right, I think we're going to stop the engine. I don't think we need to go any further. Stop the engine! No, 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 no. That's not the right thing. Let's stop the engine. Let's drop the anchor. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are on an island. We did it. We made it. Me and you, we made it. All of us are here. Let's go on the very top. This is awesome. This is awesome. I can only imagine what kind of things are waiting for us there. I can already see some scrap metals around the island. I have one spear. We are probably going to use another spear. I also have the salmon. So I think we should go and cook it right now. We need a bunch of food. We need a bunch of everything. But luckily, we have all of the resources possible. We don't need anything else. We have one engine. We are going to craft the second engine one day. That's for sure. All right, we got two spears and I have a metal fishing rod. I think we should get rid of that metal fishing rod. I'll drop it here with, in the chest with food. And before we go to that island, I think it would be time for us to go and check out what can we find under the raft. All right, there are some things. There are some mines. Can I touch that? I mean, we can only take scrap metal. I also see the shark there. All right, we're gonna avoid the shark for now. Let's go here. I don't think the shark can get to this side. That'd be silly, right? Let's try to get this. Wait, what? why it doesn't work? Oh my goodness, what's going on? I can't take it! Ladies and gents, check this out. I can't do it. My character just doesn't want to do it. All right, that, that thing probably spawned in the weird place. Whatever, not gonna question it. I still don't have a net launcher, but at least we can get some sand and some whatever other random resources. All right, there's some sort of a cage. That's not a cage, that was a container. All right, let's go back to the top. And for some reason, there's no shark. Where's the shark? I don't know why it's not attacking me. I should not have probably said that. That it's gonna attack me any moment. All right, we can get some more scrap metal. There's all that scrap metal will be useful in upgrading our base. I want to go onto the island, but I'm scared. What if somebody's gonna come here? What is this thing? All right, just a uh, flipped over wheelbarrow. We have gotten eight pieces of scrap metal, so it would be cool to get back to the raft and drop all of those scrap metal pieces. There we go. We can just drop everything this quick. That's it. I'm somewhat, somewhat ready. I've also crafted another metal axe. Don't really know if we need this, but apparently this place is gonna have a bunch of and bunch of wood. So I might as well gather all of that wood. Right, we could get a stone. You know what? For now, I'll just pick up whatever random stuff that we can see here. 
What does it say here? Warning. Balboa Nature Reserve Communication Relay Station ahead. Beyond this point, no loitering, no littering, no cameras with flash, no smoking or drinking, no unauthorized vehicles. Violators will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. All right, understandable. Have a nice day. All right, so the only other spoiler that I know about this island, whatever, you know what? I'm not gonna say anything. I saw it on the Steam page, so it's not really even a spoiler, but I'm not gonna say anything. There's probably a bear, ladies and gentlemen. This island's probably gonna have a bear. <laughs> I cannot. If I know that spoiler, you're supposed to know that spoiler as well. I saw it on the Steam page. It's not my fault. Maybe the bear isn't even here. But hey, whatever. Let's start chopping down some of these trees. Can I get the birch tree? No! No! This is sad! This is silly. Okay, at least I can get this tree, right? There we go. We've gotten a pine cone. Can we go trees with that pine cone? Maybe. There we go. I've just chopped down a tree. Can we get the birch trees? Yes, we can chop down these birch trees as well. Maybe we can get birch trees saplings. But again, all of those trees give the same wood. So does it really matter what kind of trees you have at the base? Either palm trees or other things. There we go. Unauthorized personnel do not enter during mating season. Okay. Whoops out the calendar. Okay, that's probably not mating season. Let's go in. Is there anything else? I want to explore everything. I want to explore every little thing here. All right, I don't see anything. <laughs> there goes my exploration. Let's go deeper in the island. This is insane. I'm loving it. You know what? This is a survival game on the ocean. And imagine this. They've added an island. You find this random island and you have to kind of explore it and you have no idea what's going on. And I love those kind of games that keep introducing new things to the game. It's not like you know everything about the game. Like at this point, I know nothing. We could have went straight, but I went to the right path. Not really certain if that's a good idea. Oh, that's a terrible idea, but hey, I'm going. Nobody can stop me. I want to go over here and I want to see if there's anything else here. All I know is that this island is massive. You saw it yourself. We made an entire loop around this island with our boat. Can we call it a boat right now? I think it's a boat because we have an engine. It's going to be our jet. So yeah, with the jet, we went around the island and you saw it yourself that it took a while to make a loop. All right, there's the radio station. Excuse me, that's toxic waste. We'll probably have to jump around that place. All right, I'm gonna save, but it doesn't really matter if we die, we die. Uh, anything else on the top here? I see something down there. There's a bear? Triple question mark? That's probably a bear. All right, so I could probably go lower towards the bear. I could go towards that infected thing. I have no idea where to go. All I know is that I'll probably go here. Whatever, let's try to parkour. How much damage do I get if I step here? Ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm getting lots of damage. Wait, I don't... I think it's even possible for me to parkour through here. Oh, it is possible to parkour through here. They're drowning! These things can drown, dude! Wow, what am I doing? Why am I here, ladies and gentlemen? I am amazing. We made it. We made it to the other side, but why did I do it? Why did I do it? It's night now! I need to sleep! Is there a bed? Maybe. It is dark, but there's no way to craft a flashlight, is there? There would be a flashlight in these tools, but there is no flashlight. We can go on top of this radio to explore. There's also a house here. All right, so ranger station and relay station number two. Let's go here. Feels like it's a nice place. There's something here. If you lived here, your house is gone. Excuse me, what? What is this guy? Requires one light bulb. How do I get a light bulb? Let's open the door. This is so cool. We're inside. We've got some sort of a blueprint. Biofuel refiner! That's it! That's what I was talking about, ladies and gentlemen. We can go and upgrade our boat. This is the biofuel refiner blueprint. This is lovely. Let's get some plastics. Some more plastics here. What else can we get here? Requires one bronze hammer. What? What on earth is a bronze hammer? All right, it's Bruno's hammer. It's not bronze hammer. For some reason, this letter all looks like a letter D, and I have no idea why. And it's not the first time that I confuse it. I used to confuse Vine Go with Vine God for some reason. Let's get another note. Can we read it? What's in the note? All right, so this is just some sort of a schedule. One Bruno's saw, one Bruno's hammer, and Bruno's wrench. All right, so we need three tools here. It would be cool if we could sleep somewhere. It's night, mate. Well, I don't see anything else inside of this cabin, so let's leave this place. Sadly, I don't know how does one craft a light bulb. I have this thing on my head, though, so let's equip it. A headlight. I have a headlight, and I'm not scared to use it. Let's go to the top. Have I missed something? Of course I missed something. There we go, ladies and gents. Check this out. Let's go to the top. Let's pick this up. We've gotten some food. I don't think there's anything else there, though. I think we've picked up everything. Yes, we've gotten some miscellaneous items. We keep getting this garbage, whatever that is, leftovers. This meal did not turn out very well, but can we eat it? Am I gonna get damaged if I eat those leftovers? Because there are so many leftovers in the game, especially from the cruise ship. I think we have like three or four leftovers. I'll try to eat them one day. All right, let's go to the very, very top. Not certain if that's the best idea. 
but we are doing it. Hello. <gasps> Stop it! I didn't get damaged. Nice. There is no fall damage. Is that intentional? But I'm happy I didn't die. I thought I'll die. Well, we gotta be a bit more careful. This is the second time when I fall from a high place and I get zero fall damage. All right, station two. Where was station one? Let's get all the plastics. I don't know why there are so many plastics. Do we really need that amount of plastics? I have more plastic that we can use anyways. All right. Hello. A nice TV you have there. Three months ago, Hello. my sister Astrid and I were put in charge of the ranger station on Balboa. We handled the bear population and kept the relay towers operational. The next shift was meant to start weeks back. But the replacements never showed up. Henry okay. suggested that I start writing things down after Astrid disappeared so that I'm not feeling so lonely anymore. Okay, so basically they were working here, they were waiting for replacement and nobody appeared here. How does the note look like? Okay, so the note looks like this. All right, understandable. Have a nice day. Time to click on this thing, whatever it's gonna do. One out of three relay stations active. Okay, so we have to find those relay stations now. Understandable. Have a nice day. I ain't stupid. Thank you, screen. Thank you, awesome computer screen. Look really cool. Really cool. Is there anything else that I've missed? There's probably something at the very top. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I've definitely... I definitely haven't explored these things yet. How do I get to the top? Oh, there we go. We are at the very top. All I had to do is just kind of double jump. But there's nothing here on the top. Oh, there's a crate. There's a crate. We've got in glass metal hinges some sort of an omelet mushroom omelet a potato two eggs and one mushroom yeet we no longer need that i probably could yeet this other blueprint as well but i'm kind of scared to do that now i'll keep it until i get to my ship after i check the blueprints menu and i confirm that hey, i have it then we can get rid of it we can't sleep on any of those things there we go there's another radio station and there's one more radio station and at least this game isn't super dark in the night it's still kind of atmospheric i love it i'm just jumping up and triple quadruple checking that i haven't missed anything because i know you guys will be like oh my god psych you missed the best blueprint ever you missed a grenade launcher here you missed a grenade launcher blueprint a gun blueprint but i don't think there's anything else left here so let's go down this thing and that's it it is kind of day now i don't really know which side do i have to go but i've activated one of the radio towers we gotta go somewhere further i've also seen big birds here so can those big birds throw some sort of rocks at me probably they can I also see another bear down there i don't really know if you can see it probably you can but that's a bear all right okay let's eat another beet and luckily, I have some of those watermelons. And just as I said, that's why these watermelons are awesome. Because they can work as liquids for us. They can work as water. All right, let's sort of save. And let's sort of jump through these things. Oh, no. I touched some of that toxic goop. Touched some of the toxic waste. Sometimes my character stops sprinting. But hey, we did it. Somehow, somehow, we jumped to that parkour master. That's me. How do you fight bears? The point is, I don't even want to find a bear. Like, if a bear is going to see me, I'll die. I'll lose all of the resources that I've gotten here. What we've gotten, some metal, some glass. Cool, I guess, but I'm pretty certain to lose that stuff. Can I hide in the bushes? Can they see me if I'm in the bush? There we go, I'm in the bush. I am a bush. I saw a bear walking here, but I don't know where is the bear now. I'm pretty certain bears can outrun me. There's nothing I can do to a bear. There are a bunch of bushes, they should mean something. All right, there is a tent. Henry, stuff, keep out. I see something, why can't I take it? Henry. All right, relay station one. Oh my goodness, there's the bear! There we go! There's the bear, schmuck! It does so much damage! Dude! All right, can I kill it? Can I perhaps kill it? Where is it? Oh my goodness! Oh wow, it can still damage me. Oh wow, it can damage me. It can indeed damage me! I don't know, I'm gonna die, I'll die, I'll die anyways, guys. At least I'm dead, I have no health. I have no health, I have absolutely no health! Stop it! Stop it! There's no way I can kill a bear! Oh my goodness! I can't even pause the game to take a breather! I have no idea how many attacks does it take to kill a bear here. I have no idea what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! Ah! Come! S stay in one spot, you schmuck! Alright. I am kind of restoring my health, but that's not enough. Got him! Got him! 
got him, guys! I killed a bear! I'm sorry for yelling, but that is insane. I have never done that. I did not think we'll be able to kill a bear on our first try. We just got leather and a bear head. There we go. How do we look like with the bear head, ladies and gentlemen? That's me. This is me. We gotta leave this place back to the boat. But will the bear respawn? Maybe. What's the point for me to go to the boat? What did I get from the bear? Absolutely nothing. I just got meat from the bear and that's it. So we gotta go further. I had the spear. Luckily, I had another spear with me as well here. I think there are more bears. Relay station 2, relay station 4 and 6. There are probably more bears. This place is gonna be filled with bears. Alright, so you kind of killed them on that rock. Cool, I get it. Understandable. Have a nice day. Where am I? Relay station 2, relay station 4 and 6. <gasps> we gotta go there. Oh my god, that bird scared me. Ah. My heart skipped a beat. All right, so that's where we came from. We were supposed to go straight, kind of-ish. All right, so on this first sign, I took a right turn. Then we'll have to keep going straight. All right, understandable. And now let's drop all the loot back into our raft, aka my jet. All right, and let's also repair the boat because apparently this guy kind of attacked the boat a bit. Oh, no, we don't even need to repair it. That's it. Everything's fine. Apparently, the shark cannot buy the boat if we are far away from it. That's good to know. All right, now let's check the blueprint section now. We have the biofuel refiner. Let's learn it. And what do we need to craft it? There we go, biofuel refiner. Needs some plastics, planks, rope, and some hinges. Mixes raw food and honey to create biofuel and honey. All right, still don't know how to get beehives. I'm pretty certain it is possible though, because I've seen it. There we go, there's a beehive, so we can learn how to get a beehive, but we also need to get a bee jar, which I don't know where does one get it. I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be available here on this island. So this island is huge. There are so many more things to explore and I'm super excited. But we're gonna do all of that in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And uh, hey, listen, just to check it out my green hell VR let's play. Click on the second card and you'll go to my scum survival let's play. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.